in with six MMOs. Today I'm going to teach PS4 players how to set up your hotbar for a much smoother game experience on Final Four Final Fantasy 14. Okay, so a lot of the times when players are trying to play an MMO on a console, it seems awkward trying to configure your hotbar because there are so many abilities and so many things to get in, in line so you can be a, a proficient at what you're trying to accomplish depending on your role. So in the previous um, video, I explained how to set up a macros, how to set up macros. So using, taking that, going from that video forward, we're going to now set up our hotbar. Now, important to remember when you're in, your R1 button will be what we call change sets. Now it's important to remember, you people always wanna go with the change set one, don't do that. The reason being, I'll explain this. So for example, I'm on a the number four set. So I hit the R2 and I went to um, square and that put me at my change four set. The problem with this is you'll notice a lot of my abilities are dark. I can't use them. Why? Because I'm not in that role, right? So when I go back to the change two set, the warrior abilities are set up. When I go to the character, and I go to change out my abilities. Oh, hold on, let me save this. Um, okay, I'll just make a new one. It's gonna be a pain in my booty. Okay, so we got that saved. Now I'm gonna change over to, let's say, my white mage. and I look at my abilities, now my abilities change to my white mage, okay? But if I go back to the four, it's the same. And if I go back to the character and I switch back to the warrior that I just created, that's the same, but when I go to set two, my abilities will load. So anytime you're gonna do a roll or your initial, your your main ability setup, you always want to set up on the set two, okay? So it'd be your R1 and your circle button, okay? Going from there, we're going to start off with the macros I've pre-made, right? So when I go to the macros, you'll see that I've written my macros, right? They're already done, they're already made. Now. Your configuration can be different. Th this doesn't have to be exact. But what I want to do is hit square and I'm going to set to hotbar. Okay. Once I set, I have the option of hitting the L2 uh, button, which can set in any of these positions to the L2 configuration or the R2 configuration. For this purpose, I'll set to the R2 for my primary. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to hit square for my single target. Then I'm going to go to the AOE, and I'm going to set once again to hotbar. And then, as you can see, the shield's there. That's my macro. And then I'm going to hit circle, and now those two abilities are set. Okay? So we have now our ability set up. Our macros are working. Okay? Just as intended. Now, since we have our macros set up, we'll go to our actions and traits. Now, important thing to remember, uh, if you make a mistake, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Just replace the ability. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and set up our spammable, our rotation. So my rotation for this, for the warrior, I got to start off with a heavy swing. Okay. So once again, I'm going to hit square and it's going to set to the hot bar. So I'm going to start off with my heavy swing over here and then I can set my next ability in line which will be my skull crusher okay so once again I'm gonna hit square and you can set it how you prefer doesn't have to be exact hit square and then I'm gonna replace that right there so now I have my combo my initial combat combination 
Now I'm going to set my secondary combination. So I'm going to hit this, and now I'm going to replace this over here. I'm going to place this ability. I'm going to hit this ability right here. Up. Let's go up. Okay, I made a boo-boo. Like I said, it can happen. Okay. Now I can back out, and now I can see I have my two combinations set up with my spammables. Okay. Now I want to throw my, my heal effect. So once again, I want to go to actions. I want to hit this. And then I'm going to set this to bar and set this to triangle. So it gives me my healing effect. Now, I want to use my defiance as well. That gives me my bar, and it's already set. But if I wanted to replace it, I would put it here. Then I always go down to general. I always keep a sp my uh, sprint set as well. So I can move in and out a lot quicker. I also hot bar my potions. The hot <coughs> to hot bar your potions, you go to inventory, you highlight the potion, Hit square, set to hotbar. And then it'll set. Okay, so that's how you set your potions. Alright, so we have our two our two rotations, um, our heal, our sprint. Now we gotta get other um, effects as well. We are what's really nice is using the macros, we don't have to worry about setting up everything. It, everything doesn't have to be barred. Okay, so we're going to use our combinations now, or what we call our finishers. So we're going to use our inner beast, and we're going to set this now. And I want to go ahead and let's say, for example, um, I'm going to put it right here, because we already got our... I'm going to put also set my infuriate here. So I have my Infuriate, I need my Steel Tornado, and I'm going to put it down here. Uh, towards the, um, down here, and then making sure we don't need any more rolls. So I have my ramp. oh, my Interrupts. So I'm going to set my Interrupt. Okay, and my interrupt's going to be down here. So now I have a pretty good layout for a rotation. Now you might not get everything loaded in. This is where the other loadouts come in handy. So if I want to set anything else, I can use the number three. So I can go R2, hit X, and it'll switch out, and then go back to two for quick combat changes that need to be set. Whether they be individual buffs or single. Okay. And then I can just hit this, hit X, my sprint works. Want to target, I hit X. If I want to back off target, I hit circle. X target, circle back off. Okay, now if I want to also scroll in, I can hit the L1 and scroll in with my uh, bright analog, or scroll back. Just hold R, um, the L1, and toggle in, and toggle out. And that is pretty much how you can set up your bar. Now remember, once again, if I switch to any other roll, for example, any other loadout, I might not have that loaded in. So if I go over here back to my white mage, and I load my white mage, for example, I'm going to be able to use these abilities now. But if I load to the load 3, that's not there. So load 3 will change like load 2. But when I go to load 2, now my abilities are saved, they're prompted. So I would encourage everybody to use the 2 and 3, and um, 
use these other ones as just ge uh, general your uh, your D-pad. So I always start off with two, and then I go down to three. Okay, just a quick heads up. So when I go back to the character sheet, I go back down here. I equip. Now my abilities will change. Okay, abilities will change accordingly. And as you guys can see, now my abilities are working as intended. Okay, then if I want to use my mounts, then I usually keep my mounts on a separate bar. Alright, there you guys have it how you can set you set up your controller it will make gameplay a lot more manageable okay so once again i do hope that this helps players they'll be like how do you, you know how do you switch your bar you know you hit r1 and then the corresponding effect okay and then you, from two to three can change appropriately so it just makes it an easy switch out all right once again i'm mr craven this is Mystic MMOs. Thank you guys for watching, and once again, and always, have a nice day.